If there's one thing that marks the difference between the old analog studios of yesteryear and the modern studios of today, it's automation, which basically allows you to have 20 different hands moving 20 different things in perfect timing exactly the way you want. And not only that, you can load that same project up a year from now and it's exactly the same. You don't have to remember anything. However, although this allows basically unlimited configurability on the fly, there's a reason we don't do it that much. Taking a physical knob and turning it around feels really good. Having that tactile response makes you want to do it. However, diving through a bunch of menus, right clicking, 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 clicking to find that one parameter is not exactly a fun process. But I have a solution, at least for Reaper users, that can make this a little bit less miserable and make it a little more convenient to have at least a lot of automation set up really quickly. Let's check it out. Okay, so we have a standard project here. We have plenty of channels, plenty of effects, plenty of instruments. This is how we have to do automation right now. So when we open up this effect, if I want to change these four knobs, how long is it gonna take me? It's gonna take me a while. Here's what we have to do, as I'm sure you're quite aware. We have to go find that channel, Let's dig in. Oh my God, we have to find the specific parameter in all of this, in all of this. And this is just to do the first one. Where is it? Okay, let's try to find the specific. Okay. Still looking, still looking. Okay, not here yet, not here yet. Two hours later. Okay, still wrong, still. Okay, boom, all right. Now we're in here somewhere. Okay, filter cut off, cool, all right. That's fine, we got one. Now I need to go find mod envelope, where's that? Okay, it's still in here somewhere. Oh, I don't exactly know where, cause I have to go climb through all of these sometimes arbitrary named things to find this parameter. This is miserable. If I'm in the heat of the moment and I'm feeling inspired, I want to change this parameter and automate things, the last thing I wanna do is go cave diving into this miserable looking menu with hundreds of items. So how can we make this fast? We have one hotkey that I need you to add, check this out. So hop over into actions and start typing activate. Bypass, track envelope, this guy right here. What you're gonna do is assign this to a key. I put it to F6, but you can put it to whatever you want. Literally what this does is the last parameter that you have turned and you push F6 on this, it will create that automation lane. Boom, right there. Okay, I wanna do another one. Boom, right there, boom, right there. I can literally go and change and set up parameters on this and it takes zero seconds. Any parameter I touch, I can automatically create that lane in zero seconds. And it doesn't do it unless I want to. And at the same time, the last one that you did, if you click it again, it removes it. So if you want accidentally or pick the wrong knob or whatever, you can literally undo it, which is pushing the exact same button again. So that super speeds up the whole process of creating the automation lane for that specific knob. But there's one more hotkey, and this one already exists, that you really need to know for creating the actual points. So the obvious way to actually create the automation is to right click in here, hit insert point, which is, not horrible, but I don't like clicking and I want things to be fast. If we can do this in one click, that's much better. So what you can do is shift click. So in Reaper, if you hold right click, you can make this box, which allows you to select multiple items. But if you do the same thing over the automation lane, you can select multiple points and move them all together. So what this allows us to do is basically move a knob, push F6, creates it, hit shift click and hold right click. And within five clicks, we have a whole set of points set up in about three seconds. So for me, this made automation a way less miserable process. And I really hope it can help you too. So if you have any other tips or hotkeys that really changed and improved your workflow and just removed some of the kind of miserable parts of audio engineering, I'd love to hear about it. Let me know.